Hi everybody. I'm here to tell you about a mistake I made this morning and what I'm going to do to change it. Well, okay, maybe it's not a mistake because I don't believe in mistakes. Um, I think that mistakes are opportunities to grow. Now, that might sound cheesy, I know, but when you start to view what you would choose not to do again as an opportunity to do something differently, you take it out of the thought realm and into action. And so that's why I like to view mistakes as opportunities because we can spend our time learning and learning and learning things, but until we take action, until we stop collecting information and start doing, we don't really embody that information. So this morning I was busying myself doing all the things I need to get done and mornings are busy. My daughter loves to sleep in. She's seven years old and yet she can sleep in till 11 o'clock if she likes, but I have to get her up and homeschool her and do all those things before I get to do my work. And I found myself rushing her. Now, I know she needs time. I know that mornings are really hard for her. She needs very much a lot of uh, compassion and gentleness. And I was just really focused on getting things done. And as a result, it was really difficult for her. And then on top of that, she was trying to do something for me, according to her, by not telling me something. She was trying to spare me emotion when I was trying to explain to her that um, it, it would be more helpful to share the information with me because um, when she withholds it, it then uh, creates some sort of sense of distrust and you know other emotions. However, because I was moving about and rushing about and really not being present, when I was conveying this information to her, she was taking it in a very, um, I guess, uh, just self-condemning kind of way where she feels like she was wrong or did something bad. And that's the last thing that I want to do for my child. I don't want to make her feel like she is wrong or doing something wrong that these aren't just opportunities to learn. And so I realized that I'm really moving too fast. Now, I don't know if you saw my post, but last night I gave myself um, some self-care time. I took a nice bath. I don't usually take baths because um, I don't give myself that kind of time. I might meditate, I might do other things, but it's really nice when, you know, you just get to sit in a tub and do nothing. You know, it's wet, so I'm not going to really bring much in there. And it just allows me to be with my thoughts. And what was happening is my body was telling me to slow down. It was telling me that, you know, while I am feeling very inspired, there's a lot of information, a lot of downloads, everything that I want to share with you all. I have programs that I'm building. I'm working with amazing clients who are going through amazing breakthroughs. And there's just so much I want to share with you. And I'm writing three books. Um, and, you know, there's just a lot going on. And... I have been really busy and so I just you know my body was saying you know just slow down it's okay it's okay to slow down and I thought I got that message last night I thought that the message had been received slow down but of course this morning I woke up I was back in my routine, which I really value. I wake up, I do some breath work, I do meditation, and then I work out. And I like to do that in the beginning of my day, just because that's just the way that it helps me start my day. But after, right afterwards, you know, I'm all peaceful and calm after all these things. And then I just turn on this busy mode, this do mode. And as a result, I was not present for my daughter's needs. and. That was just such, uh, you know, it was really hard to know that I, you know, was not present to her needs, but it was, like I said, also an opportunity for me to reflect in terms of what I need to do. So I've decided to do a three-day fast. 
Now, I don't know if you fast. I mean, you know, there's a lot of information out there about fasting now. And fasting is a really good tool. A lot of people think about fasting as, you know, withdrawing foods to cleanse and to detoxify yourself, which is also really good with fasting and really important. But the reason I fast is not so much just to cleanse my body and to, you know, release anything that might be stored in my gut or in all these cells and squeeze out anything that I no longer need. But it's also to slow down. When you fast, you just don't have that kind of energy that you normally do. And that can sometimes discourage people from fasting. But I think it should be an encouragement. We spend so much of our lives being busy it's okay to slow down. It's okay to do things more consciously. So when I'm fasting, it just means that I can't operate at the speed of light and multitask. And what it means is that I put more intention into what I'm doing and I focus. And that's a beautiful thing because that's what we need in life more, is more attention, more intention, and more focus. So I just wanted to share this experience with you. I'm going to be fasting starting today. I, you know, had this morning just lots of water. Um, and, you know, what I do when I fast is if I feel the need for something, if I feel like, you know, this is too hard, there's too much going on, and I really can't just do a water fast, I allow myself to have a veggie juice. I'll just juice some veggies. And it's a great way to give your body the nourishment it needs and still give your digestive system a break. And the reason that I want to give my digestive system a break while I'm resting is that that's where the healing occurs. When our body isn't focused on digesting foods, then the body can repair itself. And it's in that repair and in that rest that I'm giving attention to my body as well. And that was the message I was getting last night in my bath, was just to give my body more attention. And it's not about what it looks like in the mirror, it's about how it feels on the inside. And it's really interesting to see that it was reflected on the outside with my busyness in life. And because I was so busy, and not paying attention to what was going on around me, outside of me, that was just a direct reflection of what's happening on the inside. I'm not paying attention to what's going on inside of me. And it doesn't matter that I meditate regularly. It doesn't matter that I do these things for myself and self-care. We always need to just listen to ourselves and figure out what we need to do in that moment because things are going to change and things are going to shift and there's so many ways to take care of ourselves. We don't need to do the same thing all the time. Sometimes we need to just change up our routine. And so I am entering into this fast. I don't recommend that people just enter into something like a three-day fast if you've never done one before. There are ways to go about fasting. And if you need any information, if you want to know more, just reach out to me. Um, you know, fasting is, like I said, an important way to help and heal ourselves and just a wonderful way to slow down. So I ask you if there's something that you can do for yourself today. If you were to just do one thing for yourself to give yourself that attention, to set an intention for you to heal and to focus, what would that be? How could you take care of yourself? Maybe it's a walk. Maybe it's journaling. Maybe it's just sitting down and doing nothing. Maybe it's spending time with your animal. Maybe it is just having a cup of tea in the quiet with no book, no phone, no nothing, and just being with yourself. There's so many ways you can give back to yourself. I encourage you to find one and do it for yourself today. Bye.